What's Damn. the hardest part of being on the streets? Living in, the, in living and being judged by because you on the streets and being and being hopeless and no nobody to help you and everybody putting you down and everybody looking at you like you'd have committed a crime and you just homeless. But they don't ask why you're homeless. They don't care about what's happened to you in your life. I'm a certified chef with 15 years worth of experience. I got arthritis in both my knees, yes, my man. neck and my shoulder. Technically, I'm not even supposed to be out here in the cold, but because I lost my job some time ago, I can't work because I can't stand on my legs anymore because of the arthritis. And because of being out here in the cold, only made it worse. So I'm not going to, I'm going to need two knee, new kneecaps, but I'm not old enough, so they say. Were you in the Army or the Navy yeah, or the Marine? I was in the United States Army. Uh -huh. I was 4th Division E2. But I was shot with a 50 caliber. It shattered my bone right here. Right, that bone right there. It shattered it. And then they had to amputate because either way I would have been a cripple. What would be the most helpful resource for you? Well, I'm disabled, so. Yeah. An electric wheelchair and a house. Now look at I've been pushing this one around for three years. You, you have to have a primary care doctor here, or so well, otherwise. Can't. Oh, you don't have a primary care doctor. I don't have no doctor. Well, I come from a long line of Alex and Hacker Halls on both sides of my family. My yeah. mom and dad was. Was addicts, they died addicts, both of them. I was born into this world an addict. It's just like when I was using uh, pain pain pills and stuff like that, uh, you know, I used to have pains and I know if, if I took some pain pills, you know, my, my legs wouldn't hurt as bad. So I would be able to walk the streets all night. You know, addiction is a sickness. Yeah. So a lot of people are sick, a lot of people need help. If they honestly had a service that cared about the whole person, you know, not just the person that gives them checks, the person that looks like they're an addict or any of that. Like if they really truly wanted to heal the person entirely, you know, that means more than a 90 day program. That means more than just these little flash check-ins with caseworkers, like someone who actually gave a shit, like a friend. Ronald Reagan took all these, the state of California, all the mentally ill prisoners and turned them into a, a, a basically prison for the criminally insane. All of them, the, 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 the mental health hospitals they had in the six, seven, eight, okay, well now they all got fences around them and guard towers. The sick people are the ones that we need to take care of. So, yeah. what's my chances of having a life? They say less than a meal, but that's a lie. I mean, it is life is what you make it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>